In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the top stakers of any yield farm. Not just the ones we have added to Nansen, but literally any farm that was launched uh, within the last, the last few minutes. Um, so let's dive right into this. When you log into Nansen, uh, you'll find a list of the most popular dashboards here. You can also find all the dashboards uh, that we have available over here. And we're going to use the dashboard called Top Depositors. So I'm going to go into this one. Uh, we're going to have to plug in a couple of parameters for it to actually show something. So let's say that we wanted to find the uh, top farmers in the recent yield farming dot insure pool where people deposit wrapped Nexus Mutual tokens. So First of all, just to give you a bit of background, you know, I might have discovered this pool just by going to token god mode and entering wrapped Nexus Mutual token uh, here as the token I'm looking at. And then as I'm scrolling through this dashboard, looking at the latest stats, I might discover that the biggest accumulator of Nexus Mutual tokens is yield farming dot insure. And so that makes me think, hey, maybe there's something going on here that I should know about. Um, or, you know, you could have come from another angle where you actually deposited wrapped new Nexus Mutual tokens to this pool. So you already know about this as a yield farming opportunity, uh, but you want to get more stats on who's actually staking their tokens in this pool. So um, just scrolling down a bit, you know, you can actually see that the top balance right now for this, this um, wrapped Nexus Mutual tokens is yield farming dot insure. And so we're going to grab two things that uh, are going to make us, um, they're going to let us drill down on this, this uh, yield farming pool in particular. So the first one is we're just going to grab the address of the pool. And so uh, you can grab that here by just clicking through on it. And so this is what we're going to call the deposit address. And so this one, you can just like grab it, copy it in there and we're going to just add, I have to add one more thing, the token address. So in this case, we're looking at yield farmers who are depositing rep Nexus mutual tokens into this pool or this farm. So, you know, it's pretty easy to just grab the Nexus mutual token address uh, here in Etherscan. So we, now I just click through on rep um, Nexus mutual tokens and I can grab the token address up here. Make sure you grab the token address and not the deposit address in this case. And we just go back to uh, the Nansen dashboard and now we can paste in the token address. So one thing to check is that the token decimals actually um, matches. So it's by default set to 18 because most tokens have 18 uh, decimals. Um, but in some cases you might have to change that. And I'll show you one example afterwards um, of that. Okay. So. We inputted the, the deposit address and the token address. So now you can see who are the top depositors, hence the name top depositors of the dashboard into this address. And that uh, can be used for actually many different things. But in this case, we're using it for yield farming because these people are staking these tokens and they're basically earning safe tokens. So a separate uh, yield farming token. Um, and you can see, you know, there's some people, let me just close this for a second. There are some people, um, who are, uh, you know, we don't know the entity, but we have labeled them with these behavioral labels. And in some cases, you can also see like former ENS names, um, current ENS names. Um, but interesting, you can look at the distribution. So, you know, is it just one address farming lots of these uh, tokens or is it spread out, um, a bit more equally and you can see also when they deposited so like what time did they deposit first and so you could actually sort on this and find who were the earliest people to deposit into this uh this yield farming opportunity and you get lots of people here uh, many of them are a bit smaller in balances um but you know maybe these are good people to keep an eye on for future uh, opportunities because they obviously knew about this uh yield farming opportunity from early on uh, you can also click through um, this dashboard and you see uh, basically people 
that I have deposited into and into this pool. And so if we just go back and we just sort again based on the balance. So again, the balance is how much they have deposited net into this um, deposit address, namely the uh, yield farming dot insure uh, address. And you can also see if they've taken out any tokens. So in some cases, people have deposited and then they've you know with, uh, withdrawn again. Um, but perhaps they've deposited back again as well. So you see the number of ingoing transactions and also the number of outgoing transactions here. So that's uh, that can be quite useful to know who is uh, farming a specific pool. Um, just want to show you, you can actually do this with literally any yield farming uh, opportunity. So you can do the same thing with another pool. So let's say we wanted to look at uh, yield farming opportunities involving wrapped Bitcoin. So let's say I'm a wrapped Bitcoin holder uh, and I want to know what people are doing with their wrapped Bitcoin tokens. And so I go through um, the token God mode dashboard and maybe I'll just sort on, you know, where are most of these tokens uh, flowing in. Um, and so uh, you see a lot of different um, addresses here, Aave, Curve, um, you see different Uniswap pools. Um, and if we, for example, uh, take this one, Moonswap. So that's like a farm that popped up recently. Let's just do the same thing. So we want to figure out who are the people actually depositing uh, wrapped Bitcoin tokens into Moonswap. And so we just click the Etherscan address. And that's going to um, give us the address of this pool in particular. And we're just going to copy it. So copying the pool address there, going up, sorry, not this one, going up here, going back to the top depositors, pasting it in here. Uh, it's going to load now, but we can ignore it because we have to grab the correct token as well. And so we're going to go back and find wrapped Bitcoin in this case. That's what we care about now, right? So uh, the wrapped Bitcoin token address is this one. And so we go back here, we paste that in. And the thing about wrapped Bitcoin is that it's, uh, it, it doesn't have 18 decimals and has eight decimals. And so we have to update that as well. And so now I just hit enter and that's going to run and it's going to calculate, uh, what are the top depositors or the top stakers of wrapped Bitcoin tokens into the moon swap, uh, address. And so what do we see? Um, looks like this one might be quite a bit smaller now. Uh, perhaps people are withdrawing their tokens again from this pool, but effectively, you know, there's this guy who has 220 wrapped Bitcoin tokens deposited. This one is 74. Uh, this one was 10, seven, and then most of the other people have small amounts. These are rounded down to zero. So doesn't look like this pool is being used by a lot of people at this very moment. Um, it could be that they have moved on to greener pastures. So um, one last thing that might be useful just to speed this up a bit when you're working with it is that you can also uh, input these parameters in the URL itself. And so I've got a couple saved here from other ones that I've looked at. But effectively, you can just write deposit address equals then the deposit address. And then the token address that you want to see being deposited into that address. And so if I just hit enter uh, on this one, it's going to show me this token here being deposited into this other one. And so it, now it pre-populated these fields. Uh, so that can be quite useful. You can like save this uh, as a link. In fact, uh, we're, we're going to um, make it easier for you to do that um, in, in the near future. But yeah, so that's how you can inspect any depositor into any yield farm within minutes after it's been launched. Hope this was useful. See you next time.